Hello and welcome to my part one of my underwater pike videos. Um, it's the first time out filming pike. I've done quite a bit of filming of underwater carp. Um, so I'm starting out with pike. This video, uh, some problems with leaves. Uh, it's filmed on a water wolf, so it's, it's reasonable quality. But the, the parts of this video are going to be more for looking at what the pike do, how the pike behave, and then over the series I'll change rigs and things um, and see what we can learn about the pike in the lake. It's just an example of a shot. It is filmed in autumn. There is a lot of debris in the lake, but I do still manage to catch, as you can see, a few pike just sneaking about. Um, what you can't see on this video is that just behind the leaves, there is a dead bait. We have got a piece of mackerel on there, a couple of trebles in it, and it's just sitting behind those leaves. Um, as the video goes on, I'll talk you through what we're seeing, what sort of setups I'm using, what kind of stuff I'm learning, and what I'm going to be doing getting out. As I say, this uh, is my first go filming pike. So my first go underwater filming at this lake. Um, so it's a little tricky. I'm hoping that the videos will get better. I will be back out filming at least four or five parts. Get some better footage. Get some pike taking the baits uh, in a better one than we've got on this one. And uh, seeing what I can learn about the pike underwater. Uh, there's one just creeping across in the background there. Um, I do feel from my uh, filming of underwater carp is that through time we can learn more about how the fish behave, what they're doing in the water and that can help catch more fish and has helped massively with my carp fishing. As I say it's my first go at filming underwater uh, pike. Um, I just think there's something very cool about them even just cruising past the camera um, and we'll see what we can get on the bank and what catches we can see from that. Um, so the first pike that we saw on this video came 26 minutes after the bait went into the water. Um, the way I film with the water wolf is I don't actually catch it uh, on the, don't attach it to the rig, even though I've got a bottom feeding rig. There's a few bait fish swimming past there. Um, because I don't like that hookup, I don't think it's uh, good for playing the fish and I don't like it. So I uh, always film in margin, so I will put the camera in the margin. I usually cast over the margin, drop back in. There's a pike just knocking a leaf out of the way. So I drop back into the margin, try and put my bait in front of the camera. Failed miserably here, so I need to find a clearer spot for next time out. But we'll see some stuff, and there's plenty of pike about there. Some bait fish being followed along by a pike as well. And so I say, 26 minutes after casting out, the first pike swims past. Uh, on camera, the most at any point is three pike cruising past. So two go one way. One instantly comes back the other way. Um, so I say the the big leaf that you now see in the middle of the screen is exactly where my bait is behind, as we'll we'll see shortly. Um, all in all, before I get a take on this one, as it's coming in now, the pike swim past my bait thirty two times. Um, which I found quite frustrating to see that, but they cruise and they cruise and they sit over it and they cruise past it. So next time out, this time I was using a triangular slice of mackerel fillet, um, which is a dead bait I've used. I had another rod out without a camera on it and got six runs on it. So it, it worked out in the open water, but here the pike were just happy, like this one, keep swimming over it, cruising about. There's the odd bit of bait fish around, but nothing major. So. 26 minutes after it went in, first pike swims past. It then swims past 32 times in 24 minutes, or pike in general swim past 32 times in 24 minutes before showing any interest. There's cruising, a lot of this kind of stuff going on, of pike just cruising over the top of it. There's one going left and one going right. You can just see the fins of the one going to the right. Um, what I was surprised about in this video was sheerly the amount of pike there were in the water. Uh, this is a quiet little margin. The wind was howling into this margin, so it looked the perfect spot. But the wind howling meant the debris. And that was one racing past. It's the only one I saw moving quickly. The rest of them were all like this, just slowly going past. Constantly patrolling this margin all the time. So after taking a, a strike, I put the camera back in. Uh, again, I had leaves and debris in the way. 
but even after catching one, the pike was still just up and down and up and down, and there wasn't even a lot of bait fish. There's a few uh, small roach that was, uh, must be this year's roach because they're tiny, just cruising about, and then the occasional perch following them, but the pike were just sitting around the margin, up and down, keeping an eye on everything. So this one was, as I say, was a slice of mackerel, treble, uh, just into a free running uh, lead setup similar to what I'd use for carp fishing, and then uh, into a bait runner. Um, so it, it, we, you know, beeps when you get one. Um, I did find with some of them, some of the bites I was getting on this day for some reason, uh, the bite alarms weren't going. We just getting, I was just getting tiny pickups. Um, and just having to strike at every single beep, um, and every time there was a beep, there was a, a fish on. But obviously, they just they just picked the dead bait up off the bottom. And this is just some more footage of the pike, just cruising past, just sitting around. I say multiple pike, all just cruising past. Some bigger. There was one that seemed bigger than the others that we're going to see in a second. Uh, that wasn't the one I caught. But it just comes into camera. As the one said, if only this leaf wasn't there. We would have had some amazing footage if it wasn't for these leaves. So you can just see, just in the gap behind. So the bait is exactly behind that leaf where the pike's starting to come in now. Slowly, slowly comes in. As you can see on the left, and what I found most interesting about this one was that it has it only taken it because the other pike has come in showing an interest. So you've got another pike coming in from the left, which has led to the uh, the fish taking it. I didn't actually manage to bank this fish. It got me off in some some lilies that were right next to it. Um, this is where I filmed. It's uh, just a thank you to them. It's called Colhurst Fisheries. Uh, it's out near Market Drayton. The water's lovely and clear. They do camping, glamping, carp fishing, pike fishing, perch fishing. It's a lovely spot. Um, water's really nice. It's a really good place to go fishing. Uh, and uh, just a thank you to them for letting me film it. Uh, check out any other videos on my channel. Give us a subscribe and keep your eyes peeled for some more. I've got some more underwater pike stuff that we'll be filming over the winter. Uh, underwater perch hopefully as well over the winter and then some more carping stuff at times as well as I'm predominantly a carp fisher. Thank you. Uh, if you want to check out Colhurst Fisheries, uh, colhurstlake.co.uk. I'll put a link under the video uh, as well so you can check them out there or Facebook. If you want to give me a follow it's Casual Carper on Instagram, Casual Carper on Facebook or Casual underscore Carper on Twitter. Thank you for watching.